Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Wootton Bassett in the UK. Now January was a little bit of a quiet month for us coin collectors, which is a welcome relief after the expensive time that is Christmas. But we did still get a little bit of news and some coin releases, so let's have a look at what happened in January for coin collecting. This year started off with the first coins of the year, as is tradition, the annual coin sets. But it was a little bit different for 2023 though. Previously we would get the definitive coins, those which aren't commemorating anything in particular, almost like standard coins you find in your change. These definitive coins would usually get released in separate sets for collectors, but also in addition to a selection of the upcoming year's commemorative coins as well. For reasons unknown at the time, it was just the five commemorative coins that we got released, including a £5 coin, two 50ps and another two £2 coins as well. Starting with the £5 coin, it has been designed to celebrate the 75th birthday of King Charles III, having previously had coins to celebrate his 50th, 60th and 70th birthday, this latest one was designed by Dan Thorne, who has previously created a design for the Britannia series in 2022. He uses the King's heraldic badge along with the number 75. He also incorporated elements of nature to reflect the work that King Charles has undertaken as an environmental campaigner, specifically the use of delphidiums, which are the King's favourite flowers. The first £2 coin is to mark the life and work of J.R.R. Tolkien. The coin is to be released to mark the 50th anniversary of his death and was designed by David Lawrence, someone who has created a range of coins over the many years for the Royal Mint, encompassing many denominations and popular sets, including the currently running Royal Tudor Beast collection. The design itself for this coin features the author's monogram to the centre and is surrounded by a runic pattern. It's rather exciting to get another huge franchise involved with collectible coins in the UK last year seeing the start of the Harry Potter franchise on our coins and now the author of the Lord of the Rings this one could have great appeal to the legions of dedicated fans then we have the two pound coin to mark the centenary of the flying Scotsman this coin was designed by John Bergdahl another artist with so many designs to his name I could spend a whole video going through just his creations Having been first built in Doncaster in 1923, the train became the first in the UK to exceed 100 miles per hour, and then the first train to circumnavigate the world. It continues to break records to this day, being the oldest working locomotive to still be in operation. One of the challenges to this design was that the locomotive has been changed over the years, and the design had to be spot on to avoid upsetting its enthusiasts. Next up we have the NHS 50p, much like King Charles, this year celebrates its 75th birthday. This time we have Alice Ledyard, a first time coin designer behind this one. The words on the coin are those associated with the NHS. NHS, a service that most of us have relied on throughout our lives. The words continue off the edges of the design to reflect the ongoing care that the NHS provides us all. Finally we have the Windrush 50p, it has been created to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the HMT Empire Windrush, arriving from Jamaica to Essex, bringing British subject from the Caribbean to England. Having played a pivotal role during the Second World War and the rebuilding afterwards, the Windrush generation have helped shape Britain's modern society and culture. The coin was designed by Valder Jackson, whose parents came over to the UK as part of the Windrush generation. She depicts a smartly dressed couple standing before the Union flag and what is really exciting is that this coin is one that is earmarked to go into circulation sometime in 2023 as well. These coins will get their separate releases throughout the year though, so if you don't want the whole set you can wait for them to get their own individual releases. The Definitives 2 will be released later in 2023 as well. It's not entirely clear as to why there is such a delay, perhaps a backlog of orders that need to be minted and fulfilled, maybe a shortage of raw materials to make the coins, or as some suspect there could be a change in the design of the definitive coinage. This isn't without precedent as some definitive coins in the past have changed designs when there's been a new monarch, but it's not a guarantee that this will happen once again. 
The Royal Mint are keeping very tight-lipped about it though, so many of us are excitedly awaiting more news on the topic. If the designs do change though, it'll be interesting to see if it's all the coins or just some of them, as the Britannia £2 coin only became the definitive design in 2015 and the £1 coin in 2017. And there is already a planned change in the design for the £1 coin in 2023 already. The penny through to the 50 pence coin have had the same design since 2008. All we do know right now is that it's quite exciting to try and imagine what might be in store for us. This month we also found out the mintage figures for the coins made for circulation in 2021. So now we know how many of each coin were made. It always takes a bit of time for this information to be released but it finally answers the question as to how rare the circulating coins from 2021 will be. There were a few record breakingly low mintage figures including the penny with 2021 now being the rarest circulating year totaling only 56 million of them it is still a high enough figure though that you'll be able to get your hands on one in your change readily it's similar with the five pence coin for 2021 which saw 28 million minted the new number one spot for the lowest minted circulating year for the five pence piece but it's still high enough not to add any significant value to any of the ones you might find in your change the £1 coin is the last denomination to set a record for low mintages. Although it's only been circulated since 2017, although minted since 2016, unlike the penny which was competing with over 50 years worth of mintage figures, there was still 21.7 million minted, which is half of 2020's total, but you'll still be able to get a few of those no problem at all. The mintage figures did reveal one coin to definitely look out for, and that is the definitive 50 for 2021. There were none produced for circulation at all. This isn't unprecedented. There are a number of years where the coin was not circulated, but we've always had commemoratives instead. So this is the first year since 1997 that the Royal Mint have produced no new 50Ps for circulation in a year. It does mean if you find this 50P dated 2021, it is an NIFC or a coin not intended for circulation. So to find this coin in your change, it must have originally been in a coin set which was opened up and spent. This makes it very unlikely to find one, which means that the coin will hold some value. We also finally found out how many Britannia two pound coins were struck as well. It was confirmed in 2021 that the mint was producing a two pound coin for circulation and that later transpired to be the Britannia design. And now we know there will be just over six million released into circulation. There are only two other years when this coin was produced for our change in 2015 and 2016 with no demand for more £2 coins until 2021 and this latest production run for 2021 will see it become far more common than either of the other two years in circulation. So again probably not one that will hold much or any value. It wasn't just mintage figures for circulated coins but also sales figures for the Royal Mint commemoratives including the base metal versions to precious metals and strike your owns as well. With the precious metal coins we normally know how many are going to be minted at the time of release but the BU coins or brilliant uncirculated coins are minted to demand and it takes a few years to find out how many were sold. So now we know what the best buys of 2019 were. The rarest 50p coin was the 50 years of the 50p with 10,977 minted by the Royal Mint to celebrate half a century of the coin in circulation. Now this doesn't include the figure for coins sold loose by the Royal Mint to third parties to repackage them as the Royal Mint packaging does hold a premium over those distributed by other companies. The rarest £2 coin was the Samuel Pepys commemorative which totaled just over 14,000. Almost surprising that more of these sold than the 50 years of the 50p as the £2 coins tend to be less popular with collectors overall. Perhaps the more unique design on the £2 coin attracted more eyes than the previous coin which saw Britannia return to the 50p with a few alterations to the design. The rarest and the one that has now jumped in value on the secondary market was the Lion of England to celebrate England's success at the Cricket World Cup. There were only 6,845 of these sold. The design was reused from the Queen's Beast collection with the year on the reverse changed and the packaging refreshed for a new theme but it was the third time the design was repurposed so maybe collectors felt they already had this coin in their collection or like me they just think cricket's a bit boring. 
Either way, if you bought one back in 2019, you got yourself a great deal. The Britannia coin has been a long-standing popular investment coin, with gold and silver versions minted for buyers. This month, the new 2023 Standing Britannia, a design which has been minted for many years, has been made available to purchase, and it's another coin which features the portrait of King Charles III. With a range of fractional gold versions and silver ounces, these are bullion coins, so struck to a similar quality as a BU coin, but mainly aimed at maximizing the efficiency of striking them to lower the cost to as close as the metal value as is possible. We did get a new £2 coin this month though. It was minted to celebrate the work of Edward Jenner and is the second coin in the Innovation of Science collection since it swapped from being on the 50 pence coins to the £2 coin in 2022. The coin was the work of Henry Gray, who also designed the Alexander Graham Bell £2 coin, along with a number of other designs as well. Edward Jenner was a pioneer in the field of vaccinations, work which would lead to the worldwide eradication of smallpox. The designer included, central to the design, a smallpox virus cell surrounded by people, signifying all of those who were saved from this terrible disease. The coin has been released in BU Standard, which will be minted to demand, silver proof, silver PA foot, and gold proof. It is also the first and still current strike your own at the Royal Mint Experience, a coin you can strike as part of the tour of the Royal Mint's headquarters, which changes designs periodically. Even though January was a little bit quieter for us coin collectors, we still got some lovely coin designs and some interesting news on the horizon as well. Hopefully as the year goes on, we'll get to see many more amazing coins we can add to our collections, but I'd love to know down in the comments what your highlight for January was. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's free to do and it means you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram where we post lots of pictures of our coins. We're on TikTok and Twitter. We have our shop and online store and I'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the Britannia Coin Company.